Hello everybody, my name is Nakasasha and welcome to my very first YouTube video and this video today is going to be on the basic installation of PSU Clementine If you remember PSU, it was a game that was roughly out maybe 10 years ago, maybe longer um, As far as you know, Sega shut down the servers and a group of people got together and remade the servers So it is now called PSU Clementine so today I'm basically going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the game correctly and what you need to do to get into the game and get started. So first thing you want to do is obviously open up your browser, head on over to Google and type in the word PSU space Clementine. As you can see it already comes up automatically. Uh, you want to click on the top link first and when you get onto the website you shall look for this little little uh, bar here, how to play. So I'll just click that and then we'll move on to the next page. Right. So once you're on this page, um, you can basically read through this and get a basic understanding. It pretty much gives you an example on how to do stuff anyway. Uh, there is already a video I've made on this, but I'm going to be doing a different guide slash similar guide. So if you would like to also watch Valen's video, uh, go ahead and click that. But anyway, let's continue. So uh, when you're on this page, you want to scroll through and you see this very big picture called Google Drive. You click on that. And what this will do, this will take you to a download link for the installer. Um, ignore what this says here with the preview thing. And the one thing you want to do is just click download. And then you click download anyway. Uh, there is no viruses on this, so I'll just ignore what this says. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Uh, once downloaded, go into your downloads folder or wherever you keep it. Right click on the file that you've downloaded and click extract. Once you ext extract it, head on over to where you put it. Preferably put it on your desktop because it's easier just to find. Next thing you do is open it. And with the installer, you might want to right click this and uh, run it as administrator so we'll go for that I'll go for the process with you all uh, you want to save it to your program files it will automatically should go to your program files click on next and obviously I already exist with this so basically just follow the step by steps with this and it will just go through automatically you won't need to change anything you won't need to do any of that stuff right so once downloaded, you will have this little button right here. Uh, what you want to do is with this first is to uh, go to your properties, uh, open the file location, and then right click on the Clem launcher, right click on the properties, we'll click on the properties, and then run this program as administrator. I've that automatically clicked because it makes things a lot easier. Yes. So now open up PSU Clementine and what it will do it will bring you to this little little lovely um, front page uh, it gives you basically the patch notes and stuff like that for what they've been doing for the game over the past few years it's basic steps um, to change any of your settings that you want to change so for instance full screen etc and stuff like that go into your options what you want to do is if you want to change your screen size click on that Screen color, leave that at 32 bit. You can decide whether you want to leave this on window mode or not. Uh, depending on what type of PC you're running, uh, you might want to flick through the graphics just to see what's better for you. Uh, sound, you won't need to change anything on. And you have keyboard settings and gamepad settings. I will go through gamepad settings in a separate video on getting an easier way to use it and understand it. Alright, once you've done with all that, you want to hit enter. This should pop up, It's just that's just normal. Just close that and click play and once you click play this should open up you can extend this window yourself when you play in window mode you can just stretch it like this make it a lot easier and we just uh, turn down the volume of this game a little bit so I'll just turn it off okay once you're into the game you want to hit enter on your keyboard and then press enter again to enter the network mode Okay, now this is where this gets a little bit interesting. 
So what you want to do is with this, you want to type in a U U uh, PSU ID that you want to use. So for instance, uh, we'll use my old one. We'll use the one I'm using there. So once you type in the user ID that you want, you need to put press underscore and then N. And then once you do that, set your password, click login. Do you want to save the PSU ID and password? Press yes. So now you get this Japanese writing come up, it may look a bit confusing. The only thing you want to do is just press enter and then scroll up and press enter again. There you go. You should take it to this screen, press enter. You want to go into server one. Would we'll you check the patch notes? You will get this little message come up. All you do is click retry, then scroll up back up to your PSU ID, take off the underscore and the N. And then log in. Do the same steps again. Server one. Press enter. To agree. And there you go. You've now got into the game. Uh, so what you want to do then, once you've made your character, just enter the game as normal. And what you'll do is you will spawn into the fifth floor of the Guardians colony. That is where you will always spawn. This is where you start. Depending on what class you pick. Obviously, depends on what attributes and stuff you get. So, yeah. So, this is just a basic guide on how to get started with uh, PSU Clementine. I will make a more advanced video. Uh, understanding of controls. Um, leveling systems. Weapons. And stuff like that. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. And that is it from me. My name is Nakashasha. And thank you for watching my video.